What's up guys, Sean here. So I hope you can hear me. There's a guy blowing the field over there. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you guys the differences between the Unique Typhoon H, which is the older model, which is what I, I had last year. And this is the Unique Typhoon H Plus. So this is brand new to market. Um, so I'm gonna show you as far as the body style and kind of what the cameras look like um, just to show you the differences. So over here, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the differences in size. So you can tell I've got the back blades on, but the wingspan is larger on the new model. So and from what I understand, this is a 480 and this is a 520. And the difference is, is the length. So tip to tip, this is 520 something. And from tip to tip, this is 480 something. Um, I think it's like millimeters, um, but don't quote me on that if it's wrong. Um, something else I wanted to show you guys, on the body, this one's more of a dark gray, and this one's more like almost black charcoal, and this is more of like a gunmetal finish. Um, so that's another distinction between the older model and the newer model. The Unique Typhoon H that I'm using right here, um, it has the three antennas, but some of the Unique Typhoon H's came with only two antennas. So, um, so that's a little bit different but we're gonna do a close up of what's different on the controllers. So you've got some markings that are a little bit different, like you've got landing gear is on the Unique Typhoon 8, is on the ST16, but landing gear um, is taken away on the ST16 plus, or no, right, ST16S, okay? So, um, start and stop is in the same spot, but then on the new S, you have a USB port up here as well. Um, then you have the antenna. Then you have HDMI out. Then you have the middle antenna. And both of these drones come with this mushroom antenna as well as a flat one that has a little bit better connection. Um, and I noticed there's a heating vent up on the top of the, the newer model. Then there's an antenna and landing gear. So on top, the only difference is a USB port. On the front, um, you've got the same controls. You've got tilt mode, um, you've got panorama, pan mode, and you've got your pan control. Um, and then on the right side, you have auxiliary, obstacle avoidance. Um, they, they turn smart mode on the H into sport mode on the H plus. So that's the only difference on the front of the controllers. And from what I understand, the control, the Android tablet on the newer model is brighter. So if we look at the bottom, we have a micro USB port, SD slot, headphone jack, but the batteries are different. If we switch it over to the back, They've turned the turtle and the bunny into high speed and low speed. Um, looks like there's a cooling fan on the newer one that's in a different spot. And everything else is identical, guys. So that's the difference in the controllers. The blade on the Unique Typhoon H Plus looks like it's about an inch bigger than the Unique Typhoon H. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. So this is the unique Typhoon H camera. Um, and I guys, guys, I want you to just notice how um, the precise um, panning of the camera on the unique Typhoon H. So if you can't afford the unique Typhoon H Plus, um, the unique Typhoon H is an awesome, awesome drone with an awesome camera. Um, but you know, look how slow I can pan. And then I can speed it up. Check that out, guys. 
So that's pretty awesome. Full rotation, you can point straight down. All right guys, now we're looking at the camera on the unique Typhoon H Plus. So I just want you guys to see how slow I can pan with the drone. If I just put it up in the air, I've got a one inch sensor camera that is that I can control completely separate of the drone flying. So um, a lot of drones on the market um, have the camera on the front of the drone and I have to move the entire drone to turn the camera. Whereas this one, um, both of these drones, I can rotate very, very smooth. And then you can speed up the controls. You can get dizzy if you want to. Make it dizzy, make it dizzy. But we've got full rotation, guys. And this is full rotation, limitless, limitless full rotation. So it's not going to hit a certain spot and then you have to turn it all the way back around. It can spin infinitely. So I can put the drone up there and for a half hour I can just pan around an event. Or um, I can pan so slowly but I could take a hyperlapse or a time-lapse video and even though it's hard to tell it's even panning, but it's panning guys. But I've got it set so slow um, that it's pretty awesome. So it's one of my favorite things of the camera. It also has different pan modes so I can, I can set the pan mode to the middle and I can go over to the right and go complete, turn it completely around. Or I can go over this way. And I've got little notches in there that let me know that I'm face center. So, there it is guys, those are the differences. All right guys, that was a visual comparison between the unique Typhoon H and the unique Typhoon H Plus. Hope you guys liked this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.